Hello, boys and girls. It's Auntie Mimi here. And today we've got a lovely book. It's called Nutmeg Gets Adopted. Sounds fun, doesn't it? So sit back, get comfortable and let's begin. Nutmeg lived with his mummy and daddy, his sister Poppy and his baby brother Hops in a nest in a big beech tree. Their mummy Holly loved Nutmeg, Poppy and Hops, but she found it hard to keep the nest a safe place. Once Nutmeg fell through a hole all the way down to the bottom of the tree. He hurt himself and started to cry. Mummy Holly picked him up and climbed slowly back to their nest. Nutmeg liked to play with Poppy and Hops and he made friends with the little grey mice who lived in the hole underneath their nest. Sometimes if Nutmeg was sad or thinking very hard, he would cuddle up to one of the little grey mice and snuggle close to their warm fur. Sometimes Mummy Holly hadn't gathered enough acorns and Nutmeg was hungry. Sometimes the rain came in through the holes in the nest and he was cold. Sometimes big fierce squirrels would come and visit. They shouted and one of them hurt Nutmeg. Another stood on his tail and made him cry. Sometimes Mummy Holly and Daddy Pepper shouted at each other and Nutmeg would put his paws over his ears and hide his face. Nutmeg was very thin and his fur was very dirty. Mummy Holly was too tired to comb it with her paws. His bushy tail became very tattered and it didn't keep him warm when he curled it around himself at night. Mummy Holly went to ask Beth Badger for help. She lived in a nearby tree and was kind. She said that Nutmeg and Poppy could come and play in the Beechwood Animal Family Centre. They could have cob nuts and blackberries for lunch and play with other animals whose mummies and dazzies also needed extra help to look after them. Mummy Holly could stay at home with baby hops and rest and a friendly lady squirrel would try to help her to be a better mummy. Beth Badger said that Nutmeg and Poppy would be at home each day in time for tea. For a while, things were better, but Mummy Holly and Daddy Pepper would still quarrel and one day, Daddy Pepper went away. Sometimes Mummy Holly stayed in bed very late in the, in the morning and left Nutmeg and Poppy to play by themselves and look after baby Hops. One day, Hops fell out of the nest Mummy Holly was very worried. She went to see Beth Badger again. She took Nutmeg, Poppy and Hops with her. Mummy Holly said, Beth, I've tried hard to build a strong nest for Nutmeg, Poppy and Hops, but it's very hard work. They keep falling through the holes and I can't look after them. I can't find enough acorns and they are hungry. I am very lonely because I can't go out and play with my friends. Some of them are very fierce and growl at the squirrels and I can't keep my babies safe. Beth Badger looked very serious. She looked at Nutmeg, Poppy and Hops and she shook her head. These little squirrels are cold and hungry and frightened by the fierce bad squirrels this isn't good, she said. Beth Badger thought very hard. She looked carefully at Mummy Holly. You love your little squirrels, she said, but you can't look after them. 
Do you want me to find a warm nest for them with two squirrels who will look after them and love them and keep them safe? Mummy Holly said, I am sad that I cannot look after Nutmeg, Poppy and Hops and keep them safe. I wish I could do it, but I have tried and I can't. I want someone to love them as much as I do and feed them on nuts and juicy berries and read them stories and tuck them into cosy beds at night. I shall always think about them. Sometimes I shall miss my little squirrels and feel sad, but then I will think of them having fun and being happy and that will make me glad. Beth Badger took Nutmeg, Poppy and Hops to another tree. They wouldn't all fit into one nest, so they lived in two separate nests. Each one had cuddly grown-up foster squirrels to look after the little ones. Nutmeg was very glad that he could visit Poppy and Hops and play with them. Sometimes Mummy Holly came to see them. After eating good food and being safe and warm, Nutmeg's eyes grew bright and his fur grew soft and shiny and there were no fierce squirrels to frighten him. After a while, Beth Badger found a nest which was big enough for Nutmeg, Poppy and Hops and where they could all be together. The foster squirrels who looked after them were very kind and they played with their children. It was a very busy nest. Nutmeg was happy most of the time, but sometimes he wanted to have a mummy and daddy squirrel of his own and be like other little squirrels. He knew that Beth Badger was looking for just such a special family. Nutmeg hoped that there would be a little grey mouse to play with in his new nest. One very special day in autumn, when the acorns and conkers were growing on the trees and the sun was shining, Beth Badger brought a new mummy and daddy squirrel to meet Nutmeg, Poppy and Hops. They talked and played together lots of times and then Nutmeg, Poppy and Hops went to live with their new parents. Mummy Fern had bright eyes and was very cuddly and she had clever paws for making nests and squirrel food. She taught Nutmeg, Poppy and Hops to explore the big wood and took them paddling in the little pool where the birds washed their feathers. Daddy Foxglove was big and strong and Nutmeg felt very safe when he was carried on his daddy's back. Daddy Foxglove liked singing songs to Nutmeg, Poppy and Hops and was very good at telling bedtime stories. Nutmeg's new home was warm and comfy, nest in a big oak tree with a cosy bedroom for him to share with Hops and a tiny room for Poppy. It even had a little grey mouse who liked to play. It felt strange at first, but soon Nutmeg, Poppy and Hops were very happy in their new home. Sometimes Nutmeg would remember Mummy Holly and Daddy Pepper and feel sad. When this happened, Mummy Fern would put her paws around him and wipe away his tears. She told him that it was OK for him to carry on loving Mummy Holly and Daddy Pepper. They loved him and had tried their best to look after him. Mummy Fern told Nutmeg that love was like a candle flame and it was quite easy to love two mummies and two daddies. She said that she and Daddy Foxglove loved Nutmeg, Poppy and Hope all the same and they would always have enough love to go around. Nutmeg didn't want to move anymore. He wanted to stay in his nest in the big oak tree. Mummy Fern and Daddy Foxglove loved Nutmeg, Poppy and Hops just as if they had grown in Mummy Fern's tummy 
So one day they asked Beth Badger if they could be a real family for always. Beth Badger was very pleased. She said that she would tell the wise owl who ruled the forest. The wise owl was very pleased. He said that in the springtime, when the grass was green, Mummy Fern, Daddy Foxglove, Nutmeg, Poppy and Hops could all come to see him. He would give them a very special piece of paper which meant that they would be a real family and stay together in their snug little nest in the oak tree till Nutmeg, Poppy and Hops grew up. They were all very happy and were looking forward to their big day. I hope you enjoyed today's special little book, boys and girls. And as always, I want you to be kind to one another. I want you to look after one another. And every day, try to find some happiness and have some fun. Until next time, bye-bye.